the biggest American city brought to its knees. Death, destruction and chaos would once again be recorded in their history books. There would be repercussions, but what is more, there would be serious repercussions. Hello and welcome back to Life's Biggest Questions, where today we are continuing our popular simulated war series. I'm Rebecca Felgate and we are asking what would happen if New York was nuked. The question comes in light of the news that scientists are conducting a huge computer simulation to plan out what the state of New York would do to respond to a nuclear attack in the heart of Manhattan. While some may be alarmed that this level of contingency planning is actually taking place, meaning that the threat level is pretty serious, the $450,000 project could actually help to discover what an appropriate immediate response would be. What would happen immediately after a nuclear warhead was detonated totally depends on what size of bomb is dropped. For example, a 10 kilotron North Korean made weapon would have a fireball radius of 200 meters. If it were dropped on the Empire State Building, for example, everything would be obliterated from East 32nd to East 35th Street, roughly between Madison Avenue and 6th Avenue. Almost a 100% fatality rate can be expected from 21st and 5th to 46th and 5th, and then again from 34th and 9th to 34th and 2nd. The radiation zone would be spread as far up to Times Square and along Broadway to around the Gershwin Theatre. Depending on the wind direction, the surrounding area will be at risk too. With this size of bomb, people 838 kilometers away will still feel some radiation fallout. But as I said, this is a reasonably small bomb. To put this in perspective, it could be a lot worse. Chinese current biggest intercontinental nuke is capable of totally destroying Midtown Manhattan. This would cause significant structural damage and almost 100% death from all of the entirety of Manhattan all the way to Jersey City and North Bergen, from Flatbrush in Brooklyn to Flushing in Queens. So goodbye New York skyline. Those in Yonkers, Newark and JFK Airport will suffer from third degree burns and depending on the direction of wind, the radiation fallout could cross the border into Canada. A Chinese bomb could kill two and a half to three and a half million people with a high estimate injury toll of 4.5 million. The worst case scenario would be if New York City was hit with the biggest ever nuclear weapon ever designed, the Tsar bomber. This would be truly devastating for the east coast of the United States with people as far out as Fairfield in Connecticut receiving third degree burns. The radiation would affect 50,000 square kilometers, so depending on where the wind was blowing and the direction of the blast, it could poison people as far away as Panama City Beach in Florida, Nova Scotia in Canada, and Kansas City in Kansas. This size bomb could kill 8 million and injure a further 3.8 million. Depending on the size of the bomb, the entirety of Manhattan and its surrounding area could be totally destroyed, obliterating a city that has stood through centuries of conflict since its beginning in the mid 1600s. If the nuclear bomb was smaller, the city would still never be the same again, and a huge and precarious rescue operation would need to take place once a nuclear fallout dropped to safe levels. Whoever launched the attack would be just minutes away from being the target of one of the world's most plentiful and powerful stockpiles of weapons. I doubt that NATO, the UN, or any other allied leaders would even get the chance to warn the states off a counterattack. It would already be happening, and depending on who the perpetrator was, it could mean further devastation. For example, if Russia and the United States ever engaged in nuclear warfare, it would pretty much be curtains for the rest of us on Earth. Except maybe Australia and New Zealand, who are far enough away to steer clear of the crossfire. Lucky them. What if New York City was nuked? Well, in short, it would be the biggest single attack in modern history, with extreme death tolls and a scary worldwide consequence. It would be the end of an era in so many ways, possibly the end to life as we have been raised to know it. Thank you so much for tuning into this episode of Life's Biggest Questions. I for one love New York City and I hope that it remains firmly in one piece forever. Peace and love my friends. So let me know what you think would happen in the comments section down below and also do let me know if you want us to continue our World War Simulation series. I'm Rebecca Felgate, for now stay curious, stay alert and never ever stop questioning.